the channel much appreciate if you're joining me today and we've got a nice little treat today we're going out on the street scrambler which is the 900 ht high torque engine uh yeah quite looking forward to jumping on this today thanks to uh norfolk triumph for the loan of the bike uh, in order to bring you this review today so let's jump on and oh i like that <laughs> that's nice royal enfield Anyway, enough of that, let's jump on. <sighs> Fire her up, I think she's in gear actually. Ignition on. First thing I notice is the exhaust. You've got the big exhausts here on the side. I can actually feel them, so clutch in. Oh, got a couple of bars of fuel there, so I think I'm going to go and put some fuel in. Here we go, hold on. We'll go stick some fuel in. Uh, see what she's like to fuel up. Should be no uh, no problems. Fuel lights on actually. Once this traffic clears, we'll get rolling. Oh, boys are steaming up already. So yeah, out on the street scrambler. This is kind of the baby. Uh, you've got the obviously the the 1200. Uh, XC and the 1200 uh, XE but yeah this is the baby turn the indicator off obviously no self cancelling in indicators so we'll just have a little mosey down the road and uh, get grab some fuel that's the first thing we'll do adjust those mirrors a little bit that one's okay there's my favourite pump Lovely. Oh, I notice the foot pegs are very low. It's the first thing I notice. Moss neutral like. Yeah, very easy. Side stand. Very easy. Okay. Let's turn her off. Key in. It's a threaded fuel cap on this one, so nice and easy. Stick some juice in. And all it. I love this colour as well. Lovely colour. Oh, make sure I've got my wallet on me actually. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna say we won't be going very far otherwise. Now let's fill her up. I don't know what she's going to hold. It's a 12 litre fuel tank on uh, on this one. So uh, a bit smaller than the uh, the 1200 tank. I think a 16 litre. What we got here? Eight pounds fifty-five. Eight pounds fifty-five. There you go. So that's from the fuel light being on there. No problems there. Okay. Fuel cap back on. You can leave it unlocked should you want to. But I will lock it because that's how it was. There we go. Alright, let's go pay for the fuel. Take the gloves off. Do -do 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 -do. Hello mate. Thank you. Bye. Oh yes. Tell you what I do. What I have noticed is this this uh, number sort of board on there. Very nice that. I'll have a full walk around of the bike in a minute. We'll just get rolling. So I'm itching to uh, see what she's all about. And uh, yeah, go from there. Ah, here we go. Oh, where's the key? <laughs> in my back pocket there we go key in don't 
takes a while for the fuel gauge to register on these well most triumphs anyway as you can see there it's actually on uh, two bar still but we'll have a look at that anyway no big deal as long as the fuel is in and we'll go we'll take a right here some lovely roads out this way here we go still no fuel registering there but like I say they do take a while just have to bear with it uh, so yeah, anyway, let's let's uh, have a little feel of the bike. I'll tell you, it feels absolutely lovely. The, the foot pegs are uh, nice and low. Oh, sounds absolutely wonderful. <laughs> absolutely wonderful. This is the parallel twin, uh, the eight valve single overhead cam with that 270 degree crank, which you obviously get that, that lovely sound there. What with that and the exhaust note as well. It's got that, uh, you know, two into two stainless silencers. Adjust those mirrors a little bit. It's funny how, you know, when, when, when you get on a, on, on a bike, you can instantly tell whether you're sort of, you know, immediately whether you, you know, you could gel with a bike. And I think this is one of those exceptional circumstances with this. We'll warm the bike up a bit. And uh, winder open. Oh, this is like new for 2021. It's had a few, uh, well, quite a few subtle changes. Wow, it's got some grunt, got some torque. Talking of sort of figures, uh, I think this 65 brake horsepower, and you, you, you know, that's that's um, at 7,250 rpm, and. 65, sorry, no, 80 newton meters of torque at 3,250 rpm. I won't bore you with all the figures. We'll have a walk around to the bike and uh, discuss the figures. But I'll so warm the bike up. The, the fuel gauge has actually gone up now, so we're all good there. Got three rider modes on here as well. Sorry if I'm shouting, it is very windy. Uh, road, rain, and there's an off road mode as well, which will disable the traction control and the ABS to give you full control of the motorcycle at the flick of your wrist. <laughs> Let's try the brakes out. Nothing behind me. Front brake. There's nothing wrong with that front brake whatsoever. We'll do the rear brake on its own as I usually do. Not go too hard. Yeah, not bad, not bad. We'll do both of them together. We'll get up to 60. Here we go, both together. Whoa, very good stopping power there. Very good. I'm very impressed with that. Ride by wire throttle on here as well. Very smooth. Not snatchy at all. Looks very grey up there. Looks like the old heavens are going to open up shortly. Hopefully not. It's got the 41mm, we were talking about suspension, 41mm cartridge forks. Uh, with 121, uh, 120 millimetres of travel. Don't know you could possibly bottom that out. I mean, I know this is classed as a scrambler, but I think it's more road focused with a little bit of fun, you know, on the old loose, loose stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm having some fun on this today. Not feeling any heat from that exhaust yet, but I haven't just got on, the, you know, jumped on the bike. And it is very windy and it's fairly cold today as well. <laughs> Yeah, the rear shocks, talking about shocks. Hello, sir. No nod from the bikers. The rear shocks are the twin... Uh, uh, twin shocks, I believe, adjustable for preload. And uh, 120 millimetres of travel again. I'm getting a bit wind, but wind blasted here. Obviously, it's a, there's no fairing on this. I love this colour as well. Comes in three colours. Jet black is uh, obviously uh, the basic colour. I love this colour. Very nice. Yeah, I do like I do like this colour. <laughs> Very subtle that. It comes in two other colours anyway. I will do a thorough walk around to the bike, so stay tuned. Uh, find somewhere nice and out of the way. And pull over and I run through the full specs of the bike. So I want to make sure I get them right. Very comfortable to ride. Uh, the seat's nice and comfortable. 
it's very customizable this bike i believe 80 percent of the owners who buy this bike or buy triumph models they they because you've got such a range of uh, genuine uh, triumph accessories you know most most people most customers do customize the bike to certainly to, you know to some extent or the other i think there's 120 different accessories for this bike you know ranging from uh, different seats luggage security i know you know oh, it's endless you can basically tailor the bike to your, to your requirements when you you know on, on their website on the triumph website which is uh, very easy it's quite enjoyable really flicking the bag when you know seeing what you can uh, do a bit breezy very cold <laughs> i've got the wrong jacket on today at least it's not raining, at least it's dry anyway. This is also, which I, I, I love about these, is this is A2 compliant, or it can be made. This one isn't A2 compliant, but you can but try and do a restrictor kit, which is, uh, you know, for A2 compliance, which I think is brilliant. I think this bike, you know, could grow into this bike, and, uh, you know, when you're ready, have it removed. But it's very talky. You feel that performance through the rev range there. Particularly low down in the rev range as well, you're going to get, you know, experience that torque. We'll knock it down a few gears here. Yeah, there. Very nice. Very nice. So yeah, anyway, you can you can not say they'll fit a restrictor kit for you. And uh, yeah, you could you could grow into this bike nicely. Actually, very nice, very nice. It's got uh, metal tyres on here. It's a kind of, you know, a uh, little bit of um, light off-roading maybe, but I wouldn't, you know, it's, it's quite a heavy bike. It's 223 kilograms. That's the dry weight. Dry weight. So it's quite a heavy bike. It's actually a little bit heavier than the, than the last, or the, the, you know, the, the previous model. So this has had the updates in 2021 this year. It's got the nice um, multi uh, multi-function display there where you've got a little bit of analog going on. Very nice Bonneville brand in there. And you've got the uh, the LCD, you know, the multi-function LCD which will show your, your fuel gauge, your rider modes, uh, your mileage, your gear indicator. It's very useful. There is a rev counter in there as well, but I'm not going to start pushing buttons at the moment while I'm riding the bike. So we'll pull over in a minute and we'll have a thorough walk around the bike. But my first impressions are, let's wind her open here, she's nice and warm. Yeah. Perfect. Can't grumble at all. Yeah, I think you could, you could actually grow in at this bike rather nicely. Nice wide handlebars as well, so I'm not sure what she'd be like for for filtering, you know, through traffic and very, very nice, very nice, very comfortable for the riding position here. <laughs> nice, my, uh, my legs are in a nice position here on the on the pegs. Pegs are quite low, my, you know, my feet aren't up behind my ears, <laughs> which, uh, you know, at my age, not really any good for me. Hence why I got rid of my uh, sport bike. Anyway, that's enough about that old waffle. I do love the way this exhaust sounds on this bike as well. I'm going to test them brakes again. I tell you, the stopping power is brilliant. Nothing wrong there, you've got the uh, 310mm disc on the front there with the four pop Brembo calibers, and on the rear you've got the Nissan. Nissan uh, caliper single disc and again single disc on the front there I think they're claiming about 65 miles per gallon as well thereabouts so uh, not too bad really for a 900 cc bike is it just stay tuned and we'll pull over just up the road here and have a thorough wander around the bike yeah, this this one is like I say, it's the young, uh, the uh, the smaller model, the 900. You got the the XC and the XE. I mean, this is a shorter wheelbase. This is 1,445. This one. So uh, the uh, the 1200. If you're interested in that model, they've extended. I think they've extended. Must have extended the swinging arm 
to give that a longer uh, a longer wheelbase for a different performance but this is very very uh, what's the word for it very I'm not going to say twitchy but it's very maneuverable which will be you know due to the wide bars and the and the, and the rake and the, the wheelbase of the bike right so we'll pull in here out of the way hopefully not to cause any bother and see what she's all about we'll go off-road on the gravel not in off-road mode but there you go <laughs> well dear get the steaming up now here we go right I'll leave it in gear actually because I don't want it to roll forward on the gravel turn her off side stand down it's not going to sink in too much off we get so here we have it the liquid cooled well the street scrambler new for 2021 street scrambler which uh, is a liquid cooled eight valve single overhead cam with uh, like I said earlier with a 270 degree crank angle parallel twin and I love all the, uh, what I love about this is that they're quite clever uh, that you can't see the catalytic converter it's all hidden so you've got this lovely flow you know of the header pipes you know into this lovely exhaust here this uh, two into two exhaust here yeah lovely that and I love all the you know all the all of the, the header clamps or you know all the finned he header clamps and the finned um, you know the he head there for cooling new throttle body covers as well all um, brushed aluminium so yeah there's a few extras and we will talk about them a little bit more going off on a bit of a tangent there so yeah, like I said a 64.1 brake horsepower at 7250 rpm which is really you know it's ample to be honest uh, that'll give you 80 newton meters of torque at 3250 rpm so yeah it's a five speed gearbox uh, it's also got the slipper um, wet multi-plate torque assist clutch and you notice that straight away you know when you get on these uh, on these triumphs it's how, how light the clutch feels uh, so I said about it, the brush stainless 2 and 2 exhaust system with the you know the twin high level brush stainless steel silencers here and I absolutely love those you, you know you can put aftermarket exhausts on you can you know you can customize these bikes as you wish uh, we'll talk about that in a minute uh, o-ring chain as well on here gives you a bit more long liberty of your chain as well so yeah that's that's all good um, not say five speed gearbox uh, frame is a tubular steel with twin twin cradles and a twin sided steel fabrication swinging arm tucked away in there okay uh, wheels the front wheel is a 19 inch by two and a half uh, so slightly larger than the rear at 17 by 4.25 a little bit wider on the rear like I said tyres are Metzler Torrance uh, tyres so you've got a little bit of obviously you can see there a little bit of knobbly going on there for a little bit of uh, light gravel I would say and a little bit of off-road should you desire <laughs> I mean personally you know I wouldn't go too mad it's a heavy bike uh, 223 kilograms and that is the dry weight I think it's 20 kilograms up from the previous model that actually uh, front forks anyway front forks 41 millimeter with cartridge damping and as I said 120 millimeters of travel traditional gator types uh, on there as well nice to see they've got the reflectors on straight on this one on the forks well on that side anyway uh, what else we got yeah on the rear so we've got uh, twin shocks fully uh, with adjustable preload and again 120 millimeters of travel you can see that there you can see the preload adjuster down there as well uh, what else have we got uh, brakes so the rear brakes are 255 millimeter disc there with a Nissan two pot floating caliber and you can see the ABS ring just in there and the, and the caliber down the bottom there nice spoked wheels as well on here so yeah very nice there's your front disc which is a 310 millimeter floating disc Brembo four pot fixed uh, axle caliber with ABS again you can see the ABS ring there nice Brembo calipers very nice indeed uh, what else can I tell you yeah the, the the actual width of the handlebars which you do notice when you get on 835 millimeter it's a very wide um, yeah so the height is um, seat height again I was talking about this 790 millimeters you've also got an under seat USB charger as well uh, the wheelbase I already said this 1445 millimeter giving you a 25.6 degree rake and a 109 millimeter trail 
So that'll, you know, that'll, you know, that's where you're getting that handling from, you know, it's very uh, flickable, it's a very flickable bike. Uh, fuel tank, 12 litres, I've already discussed that, we've already fueled her up. Uh, you saw that, so we're claiming 4.3 litres per 100 kilometres. And I do hate it when they do that, that calculation, but, you, you know, uh, it does equate to around 65 miles per gallon. The bike is Euro 5 compliant also. Uh, and basically, the service inter interval again on this, on you know, on most of these fronts is 10,000 mile or 12 months service interval, whatever comes sooner. Uh, this colour is the Urban Grey, which is £9,700. And I do like this colour. It's probably my preferred colour. Uh, they do a matte iron stone, which is 9850 and they also do a jet black, which is £9,500. Yeah, and I do, let's turn the lights on, actually. Put the hazards on as well. Uh, hazards. Very nice. One thing I will also say, and I have spoken about, is 120 uh, genuine Triumph accessories available for the bike, including luggage, security, comfort, you know, and as I said before, can be, you know, restricted to the for the A2 rider, which would be very appealing to me if I was going down that route. And I love, uh, you know, again, you can see all the exposed HT caps there, all the brushed stainless, uh, brushed aluminium throttle body covers. Very nice indeed. Brushed stainless headlight brackets. Very nice. Let's have a look at the display, the clocks. Excuse the camera on there. Uh, <laughs> I, I love also as well this this plate on there very nice that uh, that's new for 2021 as well I think very nice indeed there's the lock for the seat we're not going to take the seat off seat is very comfortable this passenger seat can be removed uh, you know if you wanted to put luggage racks on there quite easily let's have a look from the rear there does look very nice from the rear very nice from the rear I say <laughs> Nice Triumph emblem, uh, brand in there as well. Again on the on the bars everywhere. Bonneville branding on the on the clocks there. Oh, I'm out of breath. Um, very light on the clutch. Adjustable for your span there. You can set your span up, and also on the front brake there, you can adjust your span. So the button clusters, information button there, indicators, horn, mode button which. We'll toggle you through as uh, your off-road mode, your rain, your road, or your off-road. Well, we'll leave it on road. No, we'll leave it on road. Actually, turn the hazards off now. So that's your kill switch on there, and obviously your start button hazards. We just had that on. Mirrors are very good. Good visibility through the mirrors. You know, keep keeping in with the the you know the Bonneville classic Bonneville look. That needs to be threaded in a bit further. I think that. I mentioned that actually when I take the bike back. But yeah, so uh, what else can I tell you? We'll have a look at the dash. Um, let's have a look. So information there. Trip trip one. Trip two for your mileage. Miles per gallon. Uh, that will probably spring into life once the bike starts up. Oh no, there you go. 57.4. Uh, I've got 93 miles to fill up. I could have squeezed some more fuel in there, and it is lent over on the side stand, so I could have put some more fuel in. Um, if you see, it's just dropped down a couple of notches there. What else can I tell you? Yeah, so you've, on your on your display, you've got obviously your warning lights. Uh, the moment you've got the oil light, engine management, and the ABS flashing, they'll all go out when the bike starts, or you've got a problem. <laughs> Other warning lights here, you've got a temperature, you can't see it because it's not illuminated, but temperature, uh, fuel, warning light, traction control light, and there's another one under there which is traction control with a line for it which is telling you that it's off which we don't want that off at the moment in off-road that would be illuminated uh yeah so around here you've got your you're obviously in uh, miles per hour around here in the uh, in, in, in the middle there so just below you've got kilometers nice triumph logo there and uh indicator uh li li warning light there left and right high beam would we'll put that on actually that's your high beam light, low beam light. You just pull the switch towards you there. Absolutely brilliant. Neutral light. We're in gear, so that's not going to be illuminated. So I don't want the bike rolling forward on this gravel. Uh, 
would have, I think I'd be inclined to replace this to a more sort of better look quality looking reservoir there but you know it's one of those things like I say very customizable very very customizable so there we have it the Triumph Street Scrambler 900 or Bonneville 900 HT and I think to, you know it, it's very nice. I mean, I, am, I haven't rode the bike for very long, and I'm now going to get back on and have another ride. Uh, but, it's, you know, first impressions, gearbox is very nice, very smooth. Uh, no issues there at all. It's five speed, you know, but it seemed quite happy chugging along. Very happy, very happy indeed. What else can I tell you? Foot pegs here for your pillion passenger on the rear. Which is a little grab, or a little handle there. What else? For, uh, rubbers here. You could. I think they actually pop out those rubbers. Yeah, you can pull them out of there if you're going to go off road or whatever. I'll try and get it back in now. <laughs> ah, there you go. That's in. Okay. Put some guard under there as well. Plastic some guard. Very customizable. Though you can swap that out for, you know, for uh, aluminium aluminium one right okay i think we should jump back on and ride some more let's try and turn around on this gravel but i'm not sure she'll have no four things of that 